hello everyone and welcome to the first video of vlogmas 2016 i have never done this before and i've always thought like i always watch everyone else's vlogmases and i am obsessed with them so i thought i would give it a try on my own channel and right now it is 8 34 at class at nine although it's like literally i live like two minutes from my class so it's not like a problem um so i'm gonna go get ready and then i'm gonna bring you guys along for my day and we're gonna have fun and this is gonna be a very exciting experience because i've never done anything like this before and i love vlogging so we can vlog In case y'all didn't know, <laughs> cereal is literally my, my favorite meal, um, like a lot. So you probably just saw a clip of all the stuff that I put into it, and I take cereal very cerealistly. Oh man, <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's literally I'm not. Why am I apologizing? I shouldn't be apologizing. It's almost nine o'clock, um, and I'm eating my cereal, uploading my project that. I just did, here, let's see if I can pull it up. My musical theater history project. There are like 53 slides. Oh, that's me. <laughs> um, about musical theater history and roles that I would want to play. Um, so that's cool. So I'm uploading it to Google Drive right now so that I can post it on... Um, our like little Facebook group thing that we have for our musical theater history class and so my teacher can see it and I have to be over there in 11 minutes but I'm basically dressed and I just need to finish this lovely bowl of cereal and then I'm gonna go oh, okay so I just got back from my class um, and then well I got back from my class and then I sorry, I'm gonna turn on my fairy lights here and then I worked on my paper, my acting analysis, like my character analysis thing for my acting class because we're doing our scene later today. And uh, yeah, now I'm just going to chill because <laughs> I've done a lot of work in the past like 48 hours, so I just need to relax. So, yeah. So I know like some YouTubers go and do things during their vlogmases that are fun and exciting like I don't know hanging out with friends going to the mall I'm gonna take a nap because I'm tired and that's about as exciting as it's gonna get oh but actually it's not because I'm gonna go get my hair done later today because they messed up last time and they're gonna go fix it even though most of it's faded out already like my roots are like a bright red and the rest of my hair looks normal so we gonna go fix that so i hope they do a good job but again i will take you guys with me but until then i'm taking a nap well no and i'm taking a nap and then i have to go to my tech class and i have to go to my acting class and then i'll go so good night oh this i need like a little tripod or something because it's just is i'm sorry i'm sorry it's just annoying Good night. Nap's over. Class time. Farewell scream. Yeah! We'll all right with the bang bang bang. Laughing all the way. What is that? It's so cute. It's my little camera. Hi. <laughs> All right guys, so on this very exciting first day of Vlogmas, I'm having an internal crisis. Uh, basically, I went and got my hair done not 
last Thursday, which was Thanksgiving, but the Thursday before that. And they basically, like, I left looking like a fire truck. It wasn't my idea of a good time. Um, so, I, and I left and I was just like, you know what? I can fix this myself. It'll be fine. And so I went and I just like, I'm like, it's not as bad as I think it is. But after some contemplation and realizing I don't think I can go to work with this like orange of hair, like it was really, really bad. It was it, basically, it was red. And then I got the idea from some of my friends to wash my hair with dish wash, like dish detergent, uh, which by the way, ain't that great of an idea. It works, but it, oh my God, it kills your hair. So I went and I did that. And basically like after all this, like after all the dishwasher detergent and using like vitamin C like pills on my hair, like it, it was so weird. I'd like crush them up. Anyways, my hair basically like all the red came out and I was left with like bright orange hair. Like when you think of the color orange, it was orange. It was like nowhere near the like natural ginger that I wanted. It was bright orange. And so I went to work like that and I got like I didn't get sent home but basically a manager came and talked to me and it's on my record card now that like I because if you you can't go to like you're not supposed to go to work if you have hair that doesn't look like it's natural and my hair did not look like a natural color and me personally I'm like very self-conscious about if my hair looks like good or like natural or not so I was just like not having it so when I went to New York, I was like fed up. They weren't going to be able to fix it until I got back. And I'm like, I cannot like go with bad hair. And I know that's like such like, a first world problem, but like I was, it was very, I, mm, no. So I went out to Sally's and I bought some, uh, like a demi, demi permanent brown hair dye just to like cover it for like a second. And it worked. I was brunette for like a week which was fine but like not what I wanted to be but like it worked the situation so uh forward to today I have another appointment with the same salon to fix what they did and right now it's actually not bad because it all like came out like it's all faded and stuff and also the brown is still like lingering a little bit so that it, it looks like a natural ginger color and I do like it however my roots are like extremely red like I don't know if you guys see it because this lighting is not the best but like it it's still like like if I if I grab my ends and put them on my roots it's just not the same color at all which also stresses me out and I don't I don't know why I get stressed out about my hair but I do so I just I don't know if I should go get it fixed because it's not that bad anymore but they're also offering to do it for free but I also have to pay for the hair dye and the picture that I'm showing them is like like a little bit different I'm I it's more of like a strawberry let's see if I actually have the picture um, oh, here's my phone. Um, it's like I used Amy Adams for an example, and my sister pulled up a picture as well. Like this, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just like a very like it's strawberry blonde and very similar to my natural hair color. And I like it, but I also really like being redhead, like a like an actual redhead. And I'm just very conflicted because I mean I don't have to go, but then it's like. I don't get another appointment and I like kind of I made a big fuss about it because I was like I just it stresses me out so I don't know what to do right now um there's that picture and then I put this one on my Pinterest and I just don't know what to do I don't know if I should go or not but like this one Amy Adams I don't know if you guys can see any of these but they're there it's just like a very toned down red like it's still red but it's toned down and I think that's what I want because I don't want my hair to look like it's not natural and right now it does look natural but then I'm scared that it because I, I still want it to look red because I really like being like a ginger I love it so that is my conflict right now I have about 10 minutes to decide um yeah I feel like I'm just gonna go I feel like I'm gonna go and go and get it done and just be like look and then that's the other thing. I don't know what I'm going to say because, like, my hair now looks quite similar to the picture that I showed them, which is great, but then again, like, 
then again, are they going to fix it? Because it, it doesn't look as bad, but I also called them before, so, like, they know what happened happened. But then it's like, I'm going to go in, and they're like, it's not going to be, it's not, like, that bad. There's people walking outside my window. Um, and then they're going to be like, it's not that bad. I'm like, I, I know, but, like, and then, like, my hair is basically three different colors right now as well because my roots are, like, bright red. Like, the underside of my hair is, like, strong ginger i literally don't know any of these terms and then the top of it is more like faded and it looks fine in like certain lighting but in other lighting it looks very fake and it just like hmm, it's a struggle and i don't know what i want to do and i i think i'm just gonna go and get it done and be like look and it's yeah what am i gonna say and be like look this is what happened it faded but it's still like, it's just not what I want, and I, I really don't want to have to deal with, like, red hair anymore, so I want this, like, natural ginger that I wanted before. Like, I don't know. I need to talk to someone. Like, you guys are there, too, but y'all can't give me advice, and this isn't going up until, like, tomorrow morning, so I'd have to wait until then, and my appointment is in. I have to leave in, like, eight minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go find one of my roommates, and we gonna have a talk. And, um... I feel like I'm going to be updating you in my car on the way there, but we should, let me, let me figure this one out. Okay. This is a very exciting day. And by exciting, I mean, I'm doing more than sitting in my bed all day. All right. All right. Yes, yeah, so I'm in my car. Um, I'm, I'm going to go. And the decision that I've made with myself is I'm going to be like, look, it's, it wasn't what I wanted when I called. Sorry. It wasn't what I wanted when I called and a lot of it has faded out. However, now like it there's like three different colors in my hair and it just is like freaking me out. And also, I don't know if it would just be easier to go to this color and then show them the picture and then they can give me the advice on what to do. I think that's the plan. It better be cuz I got to leave like 2 minutes ago. All right. We'll update. All right, I'm here. It's 5:22. My appointment's at 5:30. Um, here we go. Hey guys, so I don't know how well you can actually see me in this lighting, so this is not going to be a very long like little clip. But I just got done at the salon. They did an awesome job. I'm very happy, um, and they like totally like understood and they fixed me, which is great. Uh, so I'm happy. That you, I, you're probably not going to see much of my hair in this video because it's dark out and the lighting's not good and no selfies have been taken today. So I'll probably actually show you guys my hair in tomorrow's vlog. Uh, I'm so excited to go home and I'm actually like really cold. I don't know why. Like it was just very cold in the hair salon. So I'm going home. And then I'm gonna make some vegan mac and cheese because it's been sitting on my shelf and I've been wanting to eat it, but I've just been like, I need to save it for like a good time. And the fact that I'm done with school, it's like sans exams, um, is, you know, a good time. So I'm gonna drive home and I will see you then, I think. We'll see. Okay, bye. It's Vlogmas. Do you wanna be in my vlog? No. <laughs> This is gonna be some damn good mac and cheese. Yes, it is. Also, I took a shower because there was dye on my face. I'm gonna be walking around with the camera on me for the next 25 days. Why? Because it's Vlogmas. That's stupid. I know, but you know, it's fun. I think. It's gonna be fun. Because I like watching other people's Vlogmases, so I'm gonna make my own. One short day! City! Chris and China's voice is the best. <laughs> Y'all, look at this. Okay, so I just added the cheese sauce in, and I didn't have any like non dairy milk that wasn't vanilla and sweetened, so we're just gonna go with this. Um, I just used some of the starchy water that was left, and I think I might have left a little too much in. But well, I've still got an age that I can use too, so. I'm gonna finish mixing this and then you'll see how it tastes. Alright folks, so the time has come to taste test my mac and cheese. 
I have no idea how this is gonna taste. Although my roommate who is absolutely not vegan was like, oh my God, it smells like mac and cheese. Now I wanna make mac and cheese. So if that's any indication, this should be delicious. Fingers crossed. Okay, so here we go. Um, I did add a little bit of nooch, like nutritional yeast because I think I kept in too much water and it wasn't mixing very well. So I just put some of that in to add more cheesy flavor. Hopefully it was a good idea. I just dropped some on my desk. I mean, I can't really taste anything, so never mind. Um, I brought salt just in case I need it. Himalayan pink salt crystals. I'm wearing a funny little hat because my hair is wet. Um, and let's, let's get into this. All right, here we go. It smells really good. I'm into it. It tastes like the cheese is made out of pumpkin and sweet potato. And I can definitely taste the pumpkin, like the sweetness of the pumpkin in it. But it, like not in a bad way. Like It doesn't taste like... I've been vegan for like a year and... A couple months and from what I remember of mac and cheese it doesn't taste like this but this is not bad it's just like a different version of it I'm really into this and okay yeah this is great and this whole bowl is the whole box which serves three people but that's that's a lie this is gonna serve me <laughs> because I'm hungry and I have no shame because it's vegan and it's literally like all health food like I don't know what in this makes it that many calories I'm guessing it's probably the pasta but like I don't care so um yeah I'm very content I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and this is probably gonna be the last little bit of vlogmas day one I had a wonderful time taking you guys all with me through my uh, struggles throughout the day including what did I do today oh, I took a nap I literally haven't done like anything like fun aside from like getting my hair done so yeah I went to class I took a nap I went back to class and yeah I just yeah you, I mean you guys saw it I don't know why I'm recapping it so yeah, um, actually, I'm on, like, the YouTube homepage right now, and not only does Kate Flowers have a video up of her day one vlogmas, uh, Claire Michelle also has up a new video, and let's just, you know what, we're gonna scroll through my subscription box, and I'm gonna tell you what's new that I'm about to watch, because I'm gonna do it. Claire Michelle has a new video, How to Feel Full While Losing Weight by Mr. and Mrs. Vegan. Okay, good. Vlogmas Day 1 by Kate Flowers, yes, um, Angelina Draper has a new video, I don't like watch her like a ton, but I do like her videos because she's very like, chill, <laughs> if that makes any sense, um, mm. yeah, those are the ones I'm gonna watch right now, yeah, and I'm gonna finish this macaroni, and pumpkin cheese, and, yeah, okay, Thank you guys for following along with me on this beautiful day one of Vlogmas. I had fun. I hope you had fun. I hope you don't mind all my rambling because it's a lot of that. However, I'm going to be going out and actually doing stuff the next couple days. Kind of. It's going to be... I feel like it's going to be a lot more exciting like when school's over. But it's literally like today I had my like final... Final... Day of class that's like not exams. So it's basically just getting through that, and then there's exams, and then I'm done. So, I'm pumped. Okay, I'm going to end this actually right now. So, I will see you guys all tomorrow for day two of Vlogmas, and um, have a good night, morning, slash whenever this is posted. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it tonight or in the morning. We'll see. Okay, bye.